Listen, shit happens to everybody. Right. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens to everybody. I'm not the only person in this world I've been raped. I'm not the only person in this world I've been sold. I'm not the only person in this world I've been molested. I am not a victim, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit that happened to me, I done done some shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't been that's nobody, no shit like that. Mm-hmm. But shit has happened to me, I done done some shit, but I'm nobody's fucking victim. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Before I get into the kids, one thing I did want to ask you, before your father passed away, did you ever tell him about your molestations? And no, no. Um, I never, I never, um, I never, I, I, like I said, I knew. You knew what he would do, but I, I wasn't knew sure. what he was. I didn't even talk about uh, my molestations until, uh, shit, I was like 25 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shit you just, I, you got to understand something about me. You have some people Listen, shit happens to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens to everybody. I'm not the only person in this world I've been raped. I'm not the only person in this world I've been sold. I'm not the only person in this world I've been molested. I am not a victim, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit that happened to me, I done done some shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't molest nobody, no shit like that. Mm-hmm. But shit has happened to me, I done done some shit. But I'm nobody's fucking victim. Right. A lot of people like playing victim. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm not saying to mute what has happened to you, shit like that. But I'm not going to sit up there and fuck up my life, fuck up the rest of my life because some shit happened to me when I was five years old, some shit like that. Nah, baby, you pull your big girl pants on, you keep that shit going, or I'm gonna be a fucked up individual. No, I don't. I don't. I, I could have been a fucking crackhead like my mother. I could have been an alcoholic. I could have. I could have been down in the slums. I could have been fucked up. I could have been in the gut. I could have let people use me, and I could have kept when I. Finally, come back around. It's like, hey, you know, because I was molested. When I, I know that's not my fucking story. I'm I a love fighter. Your let me, let me, I let love me your just strength. say this. Let me, let me say the fact that you know the way that you're telling your story, it helps so many different people because of you being so passionate right. on the way that you express your story and what mm-hmm. you've been through. That's the dope part for me. I know already as you speak that people gonna get healed. I, it don't matter mm-hmm. if you even. It's because of you being able to make it. They gonna be like, I can make it. That's some little girl. That's somebody that's 12 that might be going through something, man. So I think that's dope, bro. And the strength that they see in you because people who are going through that don't have that strength. They're trying to find that courage to that's leave. That's dope, man. God, to, to talk about it. It's You have to, like my show, like I know we haven't gotten to that part yet, but my show, people say, well, did you go to therapy? That says my therapy. I open that's my it. mouth and talk. But here's the thing. A lot of people like to live in certain moments. You know what I'm saying? They like to live in certain moments and they like to feel that. No, I, man, that's fuel to my fucking fire. I don't live at that address no more. When you move from some fucking way, you don't keep going to that mm-hmm. apartment. You don't mm-hmm. keep going to the house. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would I keep going there? But I'm mentally, like, do you relive it? Mentally, No. You know what I'm saying? If I have to talk about it, I go through it. That's only if I have to talk about it. Other than that, it's fuck that shit. Because you know what? Some people people say that. Some people say that, like, as much as they put it behind them, like, in future relationships, like, if their husband or boyfriend or whoever touched them, they, you know... Uh, no. triggers they have triggers here's the thing with that you know what I'm saying if you're if you find out that you're that way you need to be by yourself you know what I'm saying a lot of people that go through certain things um, such as the molestations and the rape and this that and the third they can't be in normal relationships because they keep placing the person who they're with in the same shoes as the person who harmed them you know what I'm saying if you find yourself in that space you need to be by yourself yeah, totally. you know what I'm saying a lot of the times we don't like being as humans we we don't like being alone. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to speak on women. You know what I'm saying? Women always want to be with a dude, want to be with somebody, want to be with a girl, want to be with nurturing. a nurturing. But do not spread that cancer. You know what I'm saying? You taking that shit over there to that good ass man over there if he's a good man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to build anything. You're, you're going to be a demolition person. You're going to tear down everything. And you're spreading that cancer. What you do, you take the time you need to heal yourself. You know what I'm saying? You make peace. You make peace with that situation. However you need to do it. You make peace. If you got a knit, if you got a paint, if you got to stand in the middle of a fucking lily field and scream to the top of your lungs, you make peace with that shit. Mm -hmm. It might take a year, might take two, might take seven. Who knows? Who knows how much time? You know what I'm saying? There's no expiration date on healing. 
No, real but talk. What, yeah, but what you don't do is take all that fucked up, roach-infested baggage over there to the next motherfucker spreading that poison around. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? That's too heavy. That's I don't want to say... That's too heavy for one individual to keep reliving every motherfucking day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And your life is too beautiful and too precious and it's too short for you to live in that hellhole. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.